That's the most important thing. Uh, there are people who have temper. I see them every day in the parliament. When they lose it, <laughs> there's nothing new. Human being is an animal. And only good thing about between animal him that he has got a brain and he can think. Sometimes he forgets that he has a brain and that should be careful. And that it should supersede uh, yes, emotion. Yes, exactly. That. What is the one lesson that you think he is yet to learn as Chief Minister and it will come? I think age and time will teach him. Age and time will teach him. When you think something is right, then how much it might take, you must get on with it and not be guided by people around you that this is, will have this repercussion, this and that thing. I think you must. At that time, you move. And leave the fate to the Almighty who gave you that courage to take that decision. What is the advantage of having dynastic politics in a democracy? I think, let's be very clear about one thing. Your father is a journalist. In various fields. You joined that profession and nobody questions you because you are from that. In politics also the advantage lies that if you are in politics, you have much more contact with the political scene, with the political picture. It is It grows on you. Because I remember when I wanted to become member of parliament in 1980, my father completely said, no, you're a doctor, you stay in the medicine. And um, this is a field which is very up and down. You will have no family life and it will be terrible. You will not see the kids. Don't you see my life? And don't you see how I have not been able to give you the love to your brothers and sisters? I said, no, Father, I feel inside that I can contribute. I feel I can do something which might change some things. Then he gave in. He said, all right, but remember, this is a river which will flow. You either will flow with the current or if you have the courage, you will be able to flow against the current. So, this is what I told my son also when he took it up. So he too, you had this conversation with him? Yes, I told him exactly what my father told him. So you were so, reluctant for him to join or he was reluctant to join? No, no, he but wanted to so join like I wanted to join. And you were not so happy no. about it, especially because it's a dangerous yes, position. Yes, so see, I said, be. why not do business? Do something else. And, but no. And your family in particular, Politics, and I mean this from your brothers and sisters as well, politics has always taken um, importance over family. You know, there has been strife and intrigue. How much does that sadden you? Well, I think politics, tragedy of politics is that you have no permanent friends and you have no permanent enemies. Even with your family, your brother-in-law you know, family, was, you see, by family, someone... because interests come in. Remember one thing, in politics, interests come in. So when interest came in from my brother-in-law, well, obviously he chose his path rather than the path which would have been to strengthen the party. That was not so. The chair became more important. And um, that is unfortunate. I mean, I do still feel losing a sister and all those that are connected with that family is a great tragedy. And even your own daughter, at her wedding, you decided not to make a public appearance for the sake of your politics at the time when Sarah married Sajin Pilot. How upset was she with you? Because I, when I got married, if my father had not been there standing by my side, I I, she, he would have... I think she cried like hell. You don't know how many tears of blood my wife and all my family had to do, but that was something which was unfortunate. What did you really do to make up with her as a father? I think we made up. I went around, I'd never seen New Zealand, and I'd never seen Hawaii. And I went on to Hawaii and I went to New Zealand and part of Australia. And I met her in Queensland on her honeymoon with Sachin. So you crashed her honeymoon after not going to her No, wedding. I didn't crash her honeymoon. She came there. <laughs>